Scotty, and we're here in the studio with Adrian from A Basin. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We just Adrian was just in Mexico, so she had a wonderful, beautiful trip. I, you could tell by her beautiful tan. <laughs> Thank you. It was it was quite good. It's uh it's good to be back though. Yeah, we're well, <laughs> glad to have you back in A Basin this weekend. You got the fire hose. Fire hose relay. Yeah. Tell us about that. That's tomorrow. The fire hose relay. Um, it's it benefits the Children's Burn Camps of Colorado, Children's Hospital of Colorado, and um, it's put on by a group of firefighters from Denver, and they come up every year, and uh, fire companies challenge each other to race down or take runs down a slalom course on high noon. So it's like perfect spectator base area viewing. And they all, ha it's like teams of six, and they all have to hold on to the fire hose as they're maneuvering around these slalom gates. And it is so much fun. And they are just the best group of people to have. Yeah. And so if you're coming up to the basin tomorrow, stick around, uh, keep an eye on high noon, and you're going to see a pretty, a pretty fun event. People watch an event. <laughs> yes. A basin's a great general atmosphere. It's my favorite, the vibe and everything there. So. Yeah. Get, grab a drink and just hang out there and watch it. I know it's it's really it's really not bad at all, and um, that's like one of the, just another little random fun uh, a basin type event that uh, that we have coming up. Definitely, and you guys also are talking about the East Wall. You're hoping with this next yes. storm. Yes, yeah. So it's open below the Traverse, um, which is Land of the Giants, which is really super fun skiing, um, especially when the snow is really good. So I'm kind of hoping that this storm really comes through for us and uh, it's it's really some great great powder skiing in there because um, not a lot of people uh, make the traverse over and then upper east wall a lot of people have been asking about the hike to terrain that'll take uh, at least a uh, patrol saying at least another foot of snow if you've seen it it's um, they've actually gotten avalanches to run which filled in the bottom really nicely but it means the entrances at the top are still rocky so everyone in summit stay tuned we'll let you know as soon as it happens but fingers crossed this storm cycle really brings us some powder that's the great thing though because you guys are going to be open until I mean even oh, maybe yeah. June. So it's like <laughs> you just keep getting more and more and it's something to wait for that's exciting to look forward to. And it, it totally is. And that's why we take vacations in February because <laughs> it's going to be a long season for us. And, you know, um, the snow we've had this season is just tremendous. It's been about seven feet in February, which Crazy. I can't get over just the, the amount of snow we've had this month alone. And, and I'm I'm, I can't wait to see what March brings. March and April are going to be crazy. It's, yeah, you can see East Wall on the TV right now, too. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's it's some of, I, I think, the the best big mountain skiing in, in Colorado. And it's just something, it's something I can't believe, like, when I go to work every day. That's right. my, that's our backdrop. And it's, it's some really great skiing, if you can get to it. Very cool. And I know, too, overall, just there's so much energy at a basin. <laughs> I mean, there's, it's a great kind of, place for everyone to just come and be together because it's not so spread out everything's kind of right there you have the six alley grill that was yeah. newer this year or redone this year yep. which i love the spinach arch up there it's so good with it. <laughs> um, and then you always have like the beach and people are just hanging out tailgating and it's just an overall it's a great scene and you know we had heard some feedback from our guests um, we did a kid ski free promotion this past december and you know you sort of forget how little things like free parking really yeah. you know a close in base convenient area. parking exactly yeah. you know especially for people with little kids it's those little things that are kind of great about a local mountain right. that you may not think about that you don't have the hassle at, that you might have at some larger resort so it's, it's really nice to know that those little amenities are, are things right. that people really think are important and i think even not even just for kids i mean for myself like <laughs> beginners it's it's a lot more refreshing and comfortable to know that yeah. you don't have to take like four gondolas up and then figure out which chair. Like it's kind right. of all very situated so that you can explore and feel comfortable on your own by yourself exploring. You know, we want our guests to come back. We want to give them a day worth repeating. And if you've had a great day at our mountain and you want to explore more, that's a huge win for us. Yes. So I, the fact that people feel comfortable at the basin is is I think one of the best parts about it. Exactly, and there's also more terrain opening, so it's you get to constantly keep exploring yes. more. And then, like you said, this weekend you have the firehouse event, but you you've had so many wonderful events mm -hmm. and so many great causes in the past. You have more to come. There's always something going on at least once a month. We do. Uh, the next big one coming up is our uh, enduro, which is uh, benefiting Trevor Giles, who's one of our snow sports instructors. Um, who had an accident last summer and the enduro is a really great community event it's based around a bit of a competitive atmosphere with people seeing how many lines they can run um, off the poly chair 
in a given amount of time. But really, that's our next big thing that really brings the community together. We throw a big party afterward. And of course. It's just, of course. We throw <laughs> in the best parties. The best parties. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, you know, it's just um, a really important community event. And that's the next big thing we're looking forward to. Very cool. So you're supporting the local community and just supporting great causes. Now, where can we find more information just in case they want to check this all out online? Yeah, everything you want to know is at ArapahoeBasin.com. So check it out, head over there, especially this weekend, check out the fire hose, and there's more snow to come, so yes. it'll be a fun weekend. We'll keep our fingers crossed for the east wall. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, always a pleasure. Thank you. We'll be back with more to come here on Summit Sunrise.